and welcome back. Over the past several videos I've talked about trying to get caught up with where I am and we're finally starting to get there. We're almost there. Currently I've been working in the past couple days and I've gotten to the point where I have the bottom center bottom skin riveted onto this assembly and also I'm starting to rivet all of the actual baggage area ribs together and onto the bottom skin as well. So we're starting to get caught up with where I actually am now. What you see me doing here is I'm actually attaching the, I guess I can call them seating ribs because I've been calling them baggage ribs, but that's not really what these are. These are where the bottoms of the seats are going to attach to. And so these are, we'll call these the seating ribs. Anyway, I'm, I'm screwing them or bolting them onto the wing box frame there. And eventually you'll see me here in a minute going through and torquing those down. These are all size three bolts, and I believe they're somewhere around 25 to 30 inch pounds. Um, I know I've talked about it before. As you're going through your build, obviously you'll want to make sure you have torque wrenches. I have two. I have this one, which is in, in inch pounds, and then I do have one that's in foot pounds. I think I've used it once, and I don't know that I really needed to. So. I have it just in case. I'm assuming when I go to bolt the wings on that those will be a little bit higher, but I'm not certain. So anyway, you definitely at least want an inch pound torque wrench. And I just got mine from uh, Harbor Freight or something like that. Real easy to use and, and really inexpensive. This is the uh, torque, I, I call it torque goo. It's my understanding is it's intended to show you if the bolt has come loose and it's supposed to crack. I've never actually used this stuff, so I'm not sure if I'm using too much, too little, how exactly it's supposed to be used. I basically put a line along one side of the bolt across the, the nut and the, the protruding bolt. The assumption being that if the bolt were to twist or come loose, it would break that line. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm putting too much, but it's better than nothing I guess so I'll have to look and, and see if I can find some examples of what it should look like I guess so just going through and actually riveting all of these ribs into place again getting this assembly set up that the next step will be to start applying or uh, riveting the bottom skin to this and you'll see me start to to work on that uh, next video I think It's been nice weather out, and it's it's been nice to get out into the shop and, and get work going. The frame here, the, the 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 flooring, actually comes together pretty quickly. There is quite a bit of monotonous stuff, and, and if you've noticed, I don't show much prep work in my videos. I've I've tried to get away from the minutia, the the mundane things that you do over and over and over and, and I'm trying to put these videos together to kind of show the big picture changes that are going on you know the different steps um, kind of milestones I guess showing how the big assembly is coming together I figure you, you, you've seen uh, you, you've seen plenty of all the preparations um, I'm sure if you're watching my videos you're also watching several other uh, folks put their RVs together and so um, all of the sanding or, or the uh, grinding, painting, um, smooth, or, or taking the lightning holes and, and deburring everything, all that kind of stuff, I, I take care of and then uh, start putting it together like you see here. So you, you won't see much prep work. Here you see me starting to put together those anchors I was talking about. Um, these are the anchors for the seat belts on either side of your hips. And it's just a matter of getting those uh, two prongs together. And you want to you want to go through and, and use the uh, mallet, rubber mallet on a vise and straighten those out so that they're flush when you go to put them together. And then it's just got a, a, an extra bracket or frame there that you see there, that triangle looking piece, just as a, another anchoring point. And it's... It's altogether not too difficult. Just like I said, you just want to make sure that you pound them out so that they're actually straight. Um, there's a couple, you know, it's those thicker pieces of metal and you, you just have to put them in a vise and just kind of lightly 
beat on the end until it straightens out. So as I work through the rest of this, I, like I said, I'm, I'm close to where I'm actually at now. I'm getting, getting closer to be getting caught up with these videos. There's just a lot of videos to go through. I do enjoy putting these together, but it can be time intensive. So I do appreciate those that, that do watch and especially those who provide feedback, um, questions, things like that. It's, it's always fun to engage with those who are either in the community already of building their own aircraft or those who are interested. As I said in one of my previous videos, I had the good fortune of having uh, a gentleman come out and take a look at my project and he sounds like he's interested and I hope he does follow through and, and does end up getting his own RV-14. But it's nice to be able to have come, you know, people come out and be able to put their hands on the project and touch it and feel it and see what it actually looks like and, and all the tools that are involved. It's something that I, I hope more people actually do get involved with. The uh, general feel that I have is is that the industry or the the community as a whole is shrinking, and it's unfortunate. And so hopefully with with EAA with things that they're doing with the Young Eagles and um, you know just these videos on YouTube from myself and from the various others who are putting these videos together, it gives people an idea that that this isn't that difficult. That you really can do it. Uh, it's just a matter of actually going out and doing it. And so if anyone has any questions, uh, any you know concerns with it or, or any you know just the I want a, a feedback of how to get started, can you do it that kind of thing? By all means drop me a line. I'm more than happy to talk to you. It's it is a very fun uh, project to put together and Vance has a great kit that that makes it just simple uh they're one of the most popular if not the most popular kit for a reason i think the last number i saw is something more like ten thousand uh planes that are flying from from van so they're doing really well anyway i'm gonna go ahead and let this end out here my next video should be getting everything caught up and uh, hopefully i'll have that here in maybe a week or so and uh we'll see how much progress we can get in between so again, thanks for watching, thanks for following along, and we'll see you next time.